Right now you're looking at the bathroom and the kitchen from the window room. Now there's a lot of stories about this bathroom and about this spot that I'm sitting in and the kitchen behind me. There is a legend or a rumor, whatever you want to call it, but okay, a legend, that once upon a time during Prohibition, this house was a speakeasy. Now, if you don't know what a speakeasy is, go Google it. <laughs> anyway, if you come to the house and you tour the house, you will see how it could have been a, a perfect setup for a speakeasy. Every room in this house has at least two entrances and exits. Some have three. Like the bathroom behind me, you can get to it from three different rooms without ever going through another room. It has three doors. It has an old clawfoot bathtub and it has two closets in the bathroom. It has a sunroof. The kitchen beyond it was obviously not always a kitchen, but the doorway, not the one I'm sitting in, but the one you can see back behind me is where the apparition, the little girl apparition was caught. And the camera was further away than this camera is. It was another 20 feet behind where this camera is set up. And that is a very clear picture if you've ever seen it. But the, the, the legend of the speakeasy is very popular here. We get a lot of EVPs that suggest um, activity that might take place in a speakeasy. And I won't get too graphic, but um, involving ladies of the evening and maybe their customers. Again, there are so many stories just about this bathroom that I'm not going to go into all of them right now. I just wanted to give you just a glimpse of the rooms and the history of the, the speakeasy, which can't be confirmed. There is, you don't exactly go down to the courthouse and find out if a place was a speakeasy, but there are neighbors who substantiate that, yeah, it was a speakeasy. And of course, we have evidence on digital voice recorders. That's it.